Hello, and welcome to my review of the Lincoln Town Car Signature Series. Let's get right into it. So, this car is sporting a beautiful 4.6 engine, which is the only engine that came available with these, I believe. So, that engine has 220 horsepower, not a lot, and I think it's like somewhere around 275 foot-pounds of torque, and there that engine is, same exact engine that's in the Mustangs, all the way up until, um, ooh, all the way up until 11, I think, with, that's when they changed over to the 5.0s. They did, so this is the two-valve design, which they did change at... 05 I believe which is when they went to three valve and the Mustangs and all that but I don't know about Lincoln Town Cars and all of the new models of these I just know what's going on with this one uh, so far the car has 57,000 miles just bought it for $500 beautiful car hardly anything wrong with it the brake pedal sticks a little bit because it's all rested up under there I think it's had a few water leaks but other than that nice it has a subwoofer in the back. I don't think I can pop this, but I should be able to pop this with key fob because it's new enough to have that. Oh, this is the one that doesn't work. I just figure. Well, that gives you a sneak peek at the interior. The interior is a beautiful faux wood grain, I'm sure, uh, leather. Just phenomenal. It looks amazing. You can tell that this is a 57,000 mile car. It has, uh, it has, first of all, the lighting down there, nice. It has the climate control where you set it and forget it. This is cassette, top of the line back in the day. It's got a sub back there that is stock with the car. It's actually a stock sub and the amplifier still works. That is crazy. AC, heat, all that works. And if you crank it up, you'll definitely hear that uh, it's a V8. Uh, yeah, I gotta fix that. They cut the cats out of it, as you can tell, no doubt. But um, it has the, how far you can go to empty, and you can change all that, I think. Yep, so you can do all that good stuff. It's crazy. There's a check engine light probably because of the uh, lack of O2 sensor. And then the odometer cuts on eventually. It takes it a minute. I don't really know what's going on with that. Sometimes it'll cut on if you like do the automatic lights. Not really sure what's going on there. But other than that, all of the controls here, all of that work, the car is phenomenal to drive trunk fuel they just told me that my trunk just got open so yeah still has the spare endless amounts of room back here that is crazy so much room and then there's the sub up there and you can see the amp just a wonderful car if you try to haul any passengers back here oh no that's a fuel door release Huh. Uh, okay, well, if you do try to haul any passengers back here against their will, I guess they can pull, they can break out. I thought that that was for the trunk. Fuel door. Nope, that's just the fuel door. All right, well, if you want to kidnap people, this is the car to do it then. Because there's enough room back there for at least three. But I would advise against it. Back seat, also phenomenal looking. Just needs to be tidied up a little bit vents it's just it's got the works got your ashtray for your segegis things amazing it's beautiful and it sounds pretty awesome i mean it's a 4.6 two valve they sound phenomenal they just don't go anywhere i actually haven't opened this oh wow all of the 
all of this looks new. I have all this down because I was greasing that brake light. Or brake light. The brake pedal. But yeah. That's it. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful car. Yeah, there you go. There's the odometer. Amazing. I don't know why it cuts on with that. I, it'll eventually cut on when it gets warm. I'm not sure what's going on with that. but. And then you got your mirrors. It's got the programmable uh, shop door and all that. Amazing. Just beautiful. Runs like a top, too. So, yeah. Now, we're in the Lincoln Town car, and I have to say, while I can't drive it on the road legally because it doesn't have a uh, title, registration, tag, proof of ownership, any of that, I'm working on getting all of that. But I will say that I did not illegally drive it to a place, and it was not it was not the most comfortable ride of my life. Because holy cow, if I had, I would have to say that compared to riding in Mustangs and economy cars and trucks, it felt like driving on a cloud and it just was so different compared to what I'm so used to driving. It felt amazing. I loved it. And if this is what luxury cars from the 90s feel like then i need one that i'm not flipping and i need one just to drive because this feels amazing it's so spacious it's so just clean which that is probably a product of it only having as few miles as it does but this thing just feels so tight yet also so just cushiony it it it's like riding in a velvet glove that is also just so firm on the fist. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. It, it feels good. I like it. And I might get one of these eventually after I make profit off of this one. And hopefully this one goes to a good home. And the sound system is amazing as well. Honestly, I really love the car. So yeah, that's that. I totally didn't illegally drive it. Totally not. I would never do that. Uh, cops don't come beat down my door. So that is the 98 Lincoln Town Car Signature Series that I bought for $500. Now I'm working on getting paperwork and stuff for it and then I'll be selling this thing because as much as I would love to keep it, I don't really need it and I can sell this for a pretty good bit of money considering. And that's what I do here. I flip cars. I I buy them broken and then I fix them up or I get paperwork for them or whatever and then I sell them just so I can get cars back on the road and make a little bit of profit. That's what it's all about. Mainly getting the cars back on the road because that's what I enjoy doing the most. It, it hurts me for something to be as nice as this sitting on the road or sitting in a parking lot just not doing anything. And then if this got parted out that would suck because it's a complete thing. It's beautiful. I mean, yes, it's a grandma car, but it's, it is beautiful. You have to admit that. So, that's that. I'm pretty sure that's all the features. The airbags even still work, if you've made it this far in the video. Yes, it has airbags, and they work. Unbelievably. Yeah, I mean, the car looks nice. So, that's that. I guess that's all. I'm out. You just do a full circle here. Show you how beautiful the thing is. So beautiful. Alright. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. And this has been the review of the Lincoln Town Car.